Welcome back. I have not been really good about getting a lot of video um, tearing this tractor apart. I did get some video of me tearing apart the engine. Of course, it's gonna be a voiceover video. Um, at least you could see the things that I found. Getting really deep into this, deeper and deeper. Well, obviously every day, but I'm not regretting it. I'm glad I'm going every step further into it that I am. Um, it's not gonna be the simple rebuild that I suspected. You know, I think I said, uh, I just wanna get the engine to turn and I'll bring it to the corporate office, uh, clean it up, maybe change some seals, throw some paint on it and call it good. <laughs> Ooh, was I joking? That's a joke. Right now we're looking like that. Just the transmissions by themselves on there. Uh, so anyway, I guess th my point is this is gonna be a lot longer overhaul turning more into a restoration, I guess, of this uh, tractor. Anyway, go ahead and uh, please enjoy this video of me tearing this engine apart. I actually enjoyed tearing it apart. I wish there was a lot more work I could have done on it, but uh, it was pretty extensive, the, what I found, and it just had to go to a machine shop. And then they found a lot. So um, I'll explain stuff along the way. All right, please enjoy. Thanks for watching. Okay, so as you can see, the engine is clearly separated from the rest of the tractor. At this part, I started taking out the injectors. They were quite stuck in there. Definitely took some tapping with a hammer, soft hammer, to loosen up. They were just absolutely stuck. Took some prying. This was probably one of the easier ones to get out. And it had a little bit of oil on it and probably unfortunately the better looking one of the of the group yeah obviously this one was quite a bit harder to get out of there quite stuck in there just i don't know what to call it just nasty corroded in there Needless to say, this is some of the reason these parts had to go to the machine shop. They definitely needed going over along with the cups that they sit in. Just nasty. So next I take my attention to the rail for the rocker arms. This one wasn't too bad to get off, but I had to get it off to get the rest of the head bolts off anyway. So it's off, and kind of looking at it, see, see half the head is rusted, and the other half does have some oil on there. And looking down into the chambers where the injectors were, you can just see they're pretty, pretty rough, super dry. So I started to take off the head bolts with that little wrench and I said, oh, that's not gonna work. I need at least a breaker bar. So a little heaving and hoeing, got those things broke loose. Really not too bad. There were a few bolts that were loose, which was shocking. quite a bit so I figure man that's just too much let me go with the power tools there we go that'll come out a lot faster now of course I did keep track of the size and where they came from there are a couple different sizes there that's what I'm doing is just checking sizes. Yep. Yeah, we'll get them all out of there. And of course, this thing has been on there for a while, so it's gonna take a little love taps. It's gonna take a few love taps to break it loose. 
and I got it loose and there's some water coming out but that's to be expected but if you take your attention to the front of the engine as I'm zooming in on it watch that clump of stuff that comes out of there that was also in the water jacket pretty nasty stuff so you know all in all the cylinders don't look that bad considering but the water passages are just horrible when I drained the radiator there was antifreeze but I think that was put in way last minute there was not antifreeze in there long term I don't believe so I flipped the engine over and now I'm taking off the oil pan but of course I have to take off this front cover to get to all the bolts and the oil pan they're kind of all tied in together and one thing I can say about these old engines is they are their parts are they're heavy but they're very durable no stamped metal there Like everything else, just gotta tap off, break that silicone. Didn't look bad. I was looking to see if any of the gears have kind of rubbed up against that plate uh, or that cover, but they didn't. So stuck a couple bolts in the crankshaft and then just used the pry bar to get it to turn. I'm trying to get all the gears aligned for their timing, especially with the injector pump. So one of those gears mesh up on one dot, some are two dots, and the gear to the left was the oil pump, excuse me, the gear to the left was the injector pump. So I have to just turn it a little bit so I can get access to the bolts that are holding on the oil pump so got all that stuff off now it's time to start taking out the pistons these didn't turn out too bad the bearings actually looked pretty good I did consider for a whole split second reusing them and then realized come on man you're in here just change it out my goal is to never have to get into this thing again in my lifetime So checking for scoring, there is no scoring. Now I'm just going to tap that piston down. And tap and tap and tap. So I got it out, just looking it over. I kind of have to look at all these parts when I take them out. Looking for slop. And it felt pretty tight, so I feel that the, uh, the rods are okay. Of course the pistons are getting changed out. Um, I've got all the pistons out now. Now I'm taking off the uh, main journals for the crankshaft. But this, um, I forget which plate this is. This is the rear main seal. That actually has a part of it that covers up the bolts for the last journal for the crankshaft. And this is the part where my camera malfunctions and I don't have any more video. Okay, so as I was editing the, the video, I realized that my camera cut off. I lost a lot of footage. <laughs> um, I guess it overheated. Yeah, things like that happen. So the part that we ended on, I was just taking um, the mains off. I was taking the, finished taking out the crankshaft. I noticed the bearings in the crankshaft were not that good. Only on the caps though, um, the lower half of the, the the bearings were actually looking really good just the upper half weren't so it kind of led me to think that the bore of where the crankshaft rides was out of round so uh, I ended up taking the blocks in the machine shop uh, along with the crank and they're gonna line bore it to make sure it's true they're also gonna check the crank on it um, they may have to polish it um, hopefully they don't have to grind it yeah the head uh, looked like crap took it to the machine shop 
at least I have a little insight of what's going on. So now I know that the uh, the head, they had to completely redo the whole valve train and all. They had to change sleeves out, uh, excuse me, they had to change valve guides out. Um, the valve, I believe they said they had to change the valve seats out as well, new valves, new everything. So the only thing that's gonna be the same is basically the head itself. They, they had to machine the head, new springs, new everything. I don't know if that was an overkill. Um, you know, if this was like a daily driver or something, yes, but I don't know. I think it was, uh, oh, let's just say, hopefully it's gonna come out really good and I am not gonna have to mess with this engine at all in the future. Um, I did get the sleeves out. They are wet sleeves on this uh, D179 engine. Um, got the wet sleeves out and like I said, I just took it to the machine shop. The All the water passages and everything were just nasty. So the good thing is taking the block to the machine shop, they're gonna dip it and get it all cleaned out. Everything, all inside of it. Also the cam bearings were just gouged up. Pretty bad. Um, I'm sure those were not changed ever. It would be my guess, I don't know. Uh, I could tell other bearings were changed, but I couldn't see the cam bearings. So if you pull out a bearing, you can look on the back of it and see a manufactured date. And uh, so since I couldn't take out the cam bearings, they're not as easy to take out as the mains and rods. So I couldn't see the date on them. But anyway, I got it to the machine shop and we're just waiting on it to come back. Then I'll reassemble it here, uh, most of it. Um, and that's kind of where we sit right now. Hope you enjoyed the video and there's going to be a lot more to come with this uh, tractor build restoration overhaul. <laughs> um, lots of work, lots and lots and lots of work to do on it. And it just gets done really slowly because I have a lot of other things going on. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.